and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about how Tessa Thompson is going to be Marvel's first LGBTQ superhero in the new Thor movie, Thor Love and Thunder. But before we get into that, if you have not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. And when you're done with that, click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload. Also, if my work has ever helped you out, please consider pledging on Patreon where you will get exclusive content for as little as $1 a month. So it was recently announced at Comic-Con that Tessa Thompson, who plays Valkyrie will be in the new Thor movie, Thor Love and Thunder. And if I'm going to be honest, I've been watching Valkyrie on Twitch. She's a Twitch streamer for so long that when I hear Valkyrie, I think of her. But, th but that woman's not going to be playing in this. That's Tessa Thompson. Definitely two different people. Now, Tessa or Valkyrie is not showing up in the Marvel Universe for the first time, like, say, Lauren Ridloff's character, Makari, but also in case you're new here or didn't watch the previous video about Lauren and Makari, also deaf like Lauren and the new Death Superhero, so if I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, so Valkyrie, this is not the first time that her character has shown up in the Marvel Universe. She has also shown up in two other movies. And in Thor Love and Thunder, it has been confirmed that she will be having an actual like bisexual storyline, which in the comics, was already a thing. So it is not entirely brand new to the Marvel Universe as it was already in the comics, but it is pretty much new to the cinema side of the universe. As a fellow bisexual person, this makes me very, very happy to see. And Tessa had told the audience, I think first of all, as king, as new king, she needs to find her queen. That'll be her first order of business. She has some ideas, keep you posted. Following Saturday's panel, Marvel Studios president Kevin B confirmed that Valkyrie will be involved in an LGBTQ storyline. The answer is yes. How that impacts the story remains to be seen with that level of representation you'll see across our films, not just in Thor 4. So the fact that it's going to be in more movies than one makes it even better. Now, I don't go to the cinema a whole lot because of the lack of real deaf access, you know, there's not a whole lot of open captions except, you know, for when they show it at Tuesday at 1 p.m. when we're all working and the captive view has, you know, parts of the files missing or the battery dies in the middle of the movie and the caption glasses are just incredibly uncomfortable, especially if you already wear reading glasses to begin with. But I've been watching a few more movies recently in cinema, and the last few that I've seen, there's there's not really any bisexual representation. And if there is LGBTQ representation, a storyline, it's usually like straight up just gay representation or lesbian representation, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. And we also need more of that. But bisexual just seems to be like never there. It's something that I touched on in my Film Fridays episode about Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Her character was confirmed bisexual and the word bi was said in the show. Throughout the series, she was with a man, she was engaged to a man, and now she has a girlfriend. It was so great to see that in a more mainstream show. And now Marvel, one of the most popular movie series, if not maybe the most popular uh, movie series going on right now currently, to have that shown is fantastic. And obviously there's going to be some people that argue, why do we need this? You're just shoving it down our throat. It's like the whole lineage of straight people isn't shoving it either. You could, I, you could throw that right back at you. I haven't watched a lot of Tessa Thompson's catalog. She and I did have a little bit of a thing, a little bit of a back and forth on Twitter because of her involvement in Creed. But I'm gonna let go of that because it's been a couple of years now and I'm really excited to watch her in this movie. Will I watch this in cinema? Probably not because of the lack of deaf access unless somebody were to buy my ticket, then I don't really have to worry about it. But who knows, I have a boyfriend who's a Marvel fan and goes to the movies from time to time, I think, so there's a chance we'll go on a movie date anyway and watch it after The Eternals comes out because I know I have to see that for sure because I have to represent or I have to help deaf people represent us and help the box office stuff, you know, help, help get paid. What, where am I going with this? English, what is this? Anyways, fellow bisexual people, let me know how you feel about the announcement. Let me know if you're gonna go watch it in cinemas and 
Yeah. If you would like to help translate this video, I would very much appreciate it. It is always a huge, huge, huge help. I will leave a link for you to translate down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all very much and you're all fantastic and I will see you later.